Hey everyone, welcome to part four of Humming Your Way to Health. I'm Crystal Sun, and today we're gonna be talking about how to hum to boost your immune system. All right guys, so if you didn't get a chance to watch the first couple of videos, I highly recommend that you go back and do that first, just so that you do everything in order, you're 100% clear, and you're getting the most out of this series. All right, so today we're gonna be going through a practice that was very similar to yesterday's practice, and this one is focused on boosting your immune system, okay? And we have to remember that our whole body works as like this overall orchestra. So when one energy center or part of the body, right, is, is off or out of tune, it throws the entire system or orchestra off. Soon everything will start to play out of tune or out of harmony. And this is what causes dis-ease in the body, right? Your body is vibrating out of ease or out of harmony. So the goal here is to keep the body in harmony so that way we are vibrating high, we're very conscious, frequency conscious, we're vibrating high, and we're pretty much immune to anything that's coming at us, right? Any dis dis-ease that it's trying to get into our body, it can't survive there. And if it is there, it won't last for long, okay? This is also great to use if you're currently feeling a little under the weather. Okay, so this is a practice you can use to help harmonize your body and kick whatever is in your system out of your system. So remember, it's all about the intention. Remember the placebo effect we talked about and also the quantum field, tapping in. The first step is to remain very conscious, okay? Be aware of your surroundings, your, the sounds, what you see, what you feel, okay? So become very aware now you want to become not only aware of your surroundings as you become aware of your surroundings you'll start to become aware of your body is there anything that feels off tense is there anything that hurts right now okay is there any are there any emotions that are popping up for you this is where we're going to focus our work okay so when we're humming it's going to be similar to yesterday's practice but what i need you to do is focus on what you need so say you feel a little bit of heaviness or pain in your chest. You're gonna take a little bit more time in that area today to work on releasing that heaviness, releasing the pain, right? And balancing that energy center within your body. So I'm gonna walk you through the practice and it's gonna be a nice and easy practice. We're gonna go through each energy center our intention is going to be to boost our immunity. If you're sick, it's gonna to be to kick that sickness out of your body, okay? By becoming aware, by surrendering, being in this moment, being present, okay? So let's practice diaphragmatic breathing. We're gonna breathe in. We're gonna start at our root chakra, and we're gonna work up through each energy center, okay? And one thing I would like to mention as well is as you move up, Right? It's about exploring your sound, but as you move up, you can feel free to change your tone as you move up as well, right? So think of the simple do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, right? When we go up the scale, you're gonna think of that as you're humming. As you lower, you're gonna start really low, and then you're gonna start to go up a little bit higher. You don't have to be perfectly on pitch. Just remember, this is not about entertainment. This is about entrainment, and we'll talk about that. I'm actually gonna cover that in the next video. All right, but for now, let's focus on really uh, boosting our immune systems, all right? So let's breathe in. Or 
solar plexus. We're going to hum into our heart and then into our root chakra. Just give yourself a moment to really feel this centeredness. What does it feel like to you? Stay very conscious. Okay, sometimes you'll get messages in this moment that will pop up for you. You'll get little aches or pains or signals in your body where it's like, okay, I need a little bit more work in maybe my heart center. I need a little bit work, more work up in my third eye area okay so pay attention to that and wherever you feel a little bit more achy you can hum into that area for as not as long as you need because remember you want to make sure you give yourself some breaks and space in between because you are using uh, your voice right and when you first start to hum you'll notice that you may strain your voice a bit but that's okay it's perfectly normal for some people that's okay you can take a break and then you can revisit again because this is really all about finding your sweet spot that comfortable spot connecting with your frequency with your harmony with your rhythm realigning your energy being comfortable in your own skin meeting yourself knowing yourself, falling into that authenticity, not judging yourself, loving yourself. Okay, that's what this is really all about. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be going into our last uh, part of the series, part five, which we will be going over humming and using healing tones combined with humming to help heal and balance the mind, body, and spirit. I'll see you then.